This week on Tesla News, we'll be finding out which is quicker, Model 3 or Ford Mustang. We'll be running over teddy bears and finding more information about Robo Taxi. So much more in this packed episode of Tesla News. So with FSD going mainstream across the US and maybe Europe in 2026, the word is spreading about how you can use a Tesla now as a driverless vehicle. It's going to be like Airbnb. Elon Musk himself says that you could just send out your Tesla to work. Or he can get you from the pub. But here's a clip from uh, the Di Diary of a C CEO podcast. Well, my car outside drives itself on the driveway. Which is crazy. I don't think I always say this, but I don't think people anywhere outside of the United States realize that cars in the United States drive themselves without me touching the steering wheel or the pedals at any point in a three-hour journey. They, because in the UK, it's not it's not legal yet to have like Teslas on the road. But that's a paradigm shifting moment where you come to the US, you sit in a Tesla, you say, "I want to go two and a half hours away," and you never touch the steering wheel or the pedals. And that is science fiction. I do when all my team fly out here. It's the first thing I do. I put them in the, the front seat if they have a driving license, and I say, "I press the button." And I go, don't touch anything. And you see it in there. Oh, oh. You see like the panic. And then you see, you know, a couple of minutes in there, they've very quickly adapted to the new normal. And it's no longer blowing their mind. And that's the point. The driverless technology is amazing. Check this video out of the car just stopping on its own after watching a person with a stop sign. And they're able to like pull up a UI, select the, oh, we got a nice job here. Nice job. Really, really good job. Stopping nice and early. Okay, good. Yeah, amazing. Well done. I appreciate that we're going nice and slow through here. There's no reason to go fast. The truck behind us is in a massive hurry. I guarantee you the second they get the chance to, they're going to pass us. But I'm happy to go the speed we are. So good job. I can't wait to get FSD. I have kids moving them around. It's going to be so safe having FSD. And here's a demonstration using a teddy bear to represent a child. So here we have some regular vehicles from China, bailed or teddy. What about this one? Nope. Well done. No, that's run out. That's killed your child. And what about Tesla Model Y? Perfect. That's why we love our Model Ys. Quick, get it home before the kid realizes you've nicked his favorite teddy bear or hers. But yeah, safety is one of the key selling points of Tesla. And let's look at some of the recent safety videos that you can actually find on Tesla's website. Simply amazing advanced airbags are being tuned to deploy according to crash type. So whatever crash type you have, according to the tweet, sorry, tweet, uh, was it there? 
Um, you're able to uh, deploy the airbags. It's gonna be gotta be a benefit. Anyway, so it's not just safety; it's surveillance as well. The sentry system is amazing. This next clip is of a car in Quebec in the snow going through a shop window hurting three people caught on camera by a Tesla. Zero to 60 goes to the Tesla Model 3 at 3.1 seconds. Quarter mile goes to the Model 3 again at 11.4 seconds at 122.4. Max cornering goes to the Dark Horse, pulling 1.27 Gs. And the win goes to the Dark Horse with a time of 32.9 seconds at 142.4. Wow, I'd love to see a Ferrari being built by uh, a Tesla Model S there. And of course, the Model 3 didn't do too bad either, did it, against the uh, Dark Horse Ford Mustang? I've got to get to buy myself a track day. Of course, in the UK, we don't have summons, but in America, a lot of them don't. people don't realise you can summon your car to the front of the shopping mall. I'm very jealous. It's, I don't know if you can see well here, but there's only about uh, a few inches separating the side mirrors um, on each side of the car. So we're going to open the falcon wing doors where there's barely enough room to squeeze between the, the two cars. Great to look back there at the Model X and how innovative uh, Elon was and still is. So news just in uh, on Twitter and X about Starlink getting FCC approval, uh, which means they can be attached to a moving vehicle, which is going to be great for for Tesla and uh, FSD. Also, uh, we've got. Uh, Obviously, the Elon bashes out there sort of slating him that uh, his European sales are down, even though there's more product to the marketplace now. The market's expanded. More product e equals lower sales. Um, but he's still doing great. He's still got the best rated vehicle at any review with the Model Y. So the Model Y is the top seller in Norway, also in China, I believe. And also Grok rumours in Europe. Grok, um, which you have in America. We don't in Europe. Regulations, rules is rules. I'm going to emigrate to America. Anyone know I can get there? Um, so, Grok is uh, rumored to be launching in Europe before uh, sooner rather than later, which is uh, a bit of a game changer. The moment you discover FSD. Now turn left onto Josephine Street. No hands, driving me. So in the UK, we're about to have driverless cars arrive in London, London with Waymo and also Lyft, uh, which has recently bought uh, Ride Hailing App Free now, has uh, partnered up with uh, uh, another supplier and also the Uber have, um, partnered up with a, a Chinese supplier. So it's about to hit there. So far, no news on Tesla because the legislation isn't there. They're only recognising LiDAR or LiDAR. Um, not driver's car by cameras and has recently proved in San Francisco we know LIDAR does work when there was a power cut when robo taxis, Tesla's robo taxis carried on working. Um, so it's all to play for, very exciting times in the UK. Uh, how will traditional taxi companies cope? Well, I happen to know about that. We have a plan. Um, 
so all very exciting. So meanwhile, over in America, Robotaxi has just updated their website and released uh, this commercial. The Tesla Cybercab has a ton of new updates. Again, this is going to be ready for production next year, as well as Tesla is releasing robo-taxis in the Model Y today, and they're being tested in Austin, so there could not be a more perfect time for us to see the latest update of the Tesla Cybercab. Again, this thing is built in four different pieces. Simultaneously, in the Giga Factory in Austin, they will then put them all together, obviously both them. And so that is the unbox method. So you will be able to put a ton of these on the road as they will all be made simultaneously, the four pieces and then connected at the end. So here are the new update, new frameless window design, slightly updated front bumper design, bottom splitter is extended, rear hatch has a slightly updated design, Production front light bar with integrated headlights, new wheel covers, new dash and door panel design, updated interior carpet material, seat cushions look slightly updated as well as the cup holders, and powered door struts are all new. License plate bracket and two windshield wipers. The production type only had one. Everything about the latest design looks production ready. Again, the goal of this is to create a two-seater where 90% of the Uber rides are just for two people and a lot of times just one. So a two-person robotaxi makes the most sense rather than creating something with a, a bunch of additional space. And the goal of this is to make it super cheap to produce, but obviously in the Tesla fashion, they're going to make this the safest Two vehicle car ever made, if not potentially four seater, given its size. We know the back opens and that's where all of the luggage will go. And I believe the front may include where the motor is, but we will see once the front is revealed. The interior is super utilitarian and meant for you to be able to do thousands of rides and then be able to have robots clean the inside of it. Again, this is a super exciting time and Tesla continues to lead the way. But the future is autonomous and we are getting closer each and every single day and 2026 is going to be the year of autonomy. But if you look inside here, the interior has been updated and very minimalistic. No pedals and steering wheel and of course the internal camera. Super exciting times ahead. Tesla continues to lead the way for AI or robotics. Let's go. Yeah, I literally can't wait to buy myself a few Cybercat taxis like that, uh, more Model Ys, and send them out to work. It's like Airbnb for the taxi world or mobility sector. Um, I just feel that, uh, yeah, Elon Genius, he's got Starlink, he's got a payment system, he's got X. He's going to wipe the floor with Waymo. Waymo is using old technology, the ugly, um, unreliable they kind of yeah paved the way, got the market going, started the engine whilst uh, waiting for the kind of like the warmer act before the main act. So it's a bit like going to see Iron Maiden or Aerosmith, Michael Jackson, and having Buck Fizz as your warm up act, or having uh, Boy George as your warm up act. But uh, yeah, so anyway, I'll leave you with that thought. I think next year's going to, or this year now, it's going to be an exciting year, 2026. We're going to see uh, FSD come into Europe and then the UK. You can see robo taxis being rolled out into America, cars being used, um, your car rather than sat on the drive. It all makes sense, goes out to work. Streets get less cluttered. But anyway, <coughs> let's have a look at the old boy trying to make his way around the streets of San Francisco on this video of Waymo. Don't forget to 
like and subscribe. It does help the channel. I'm getting very low viewers. I do put a lot of effort in and I think we deserve at least one more maybe uh, to keep going um, but thanks for watching for those that have watched big give us a thumbs up i'm getting a lot of likes but i think that's from the tesla haters so make sure you put that thumbs up and like the video because there's more because mm -hmm. we don't like elon musk because he called out grooming Granks on his freedom of speech and everything we want to be and he did that when he we know he did that out of you know from the heart but uh oh freeze frame hitler not really. Anyway, please do like and subscribe. And if I've offended you just then, hey, that's freedom of speech. I don't mean to. I'm having a joke. Look, I'm fat and old. You know, joke's on me. <laughs> All right, talk to you soon. Good, yeah, yeah, good. Oh, this Waymo's getting brave. The, the little Waymo who could go block traffic. The little Waymo who could. All right, once again, we're at check. What do we do to make this checkmate? Like, uh, 